Hey, what's up, guys? Jumping here. And I actually wanted to talk about digital distribution. And is digital the real way of the future? Because this is something that needs to be talked about. And Microsoft's failure with this whole idea. The reality is this. Everything Don Matrix was saying about the world going digital and that in the next 10 years everything will be digital, that's a true statement. That will probably happen. But the problem with Microsoft and with Xbox One was that they were trying to force feed us this whole idea of DRM and digital distribution and we weren't buying it. We did not want no part of it because as console gamers, we're used to disc-based games. Things going digital is probably somewhat of a good thing. And I keep hearing arguments now and so many comments and people saying all over the internet, Oh, you guys fucked it up. You complain and you complain and now we've lost all these things. We've lost the sharing with the family and we can't share our games now on the internet. It's like, uh. I mean, for real people, are we really going to say this stuff? And I've seen this, I promise you. I've seen this all over the place where people are saying, you guys fucked it up. Honestly, we should not backtrack like this. The reality is, is that we, the gamer, have won, okay? We did win this battle. It's a fucking war, though. Let's get that right. It, the digital war is coming. And no matter what we do, we can't stop it. Like, it will happen. But right now, we have won. We have said, this moment, no. We don't want the digital path. If you look at all the videos... And all the comments and everything, the likes, the dislikes, the majority of people were the ones saying Xbox One restrictions need to go. Some of these people were fanboys of PlayStation, that's fine. Some were Xbox fanboys who turned to PlayStation like myself. I mean, I'm totally biased. I know this. I'm not getting up here and saying I'm not biased and I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving Xbox a fair shake. No, I'm not, because they messed up, they fucked it up, and they fucked it up to me, okay? But I'm not really here to really talk about Xbox and how they messed up. What I want to talk about is, is this a reality? Are we headed for this direction? Now, if you really look at this and you think about it, the digital path of the future, you have to look at the other consoles first, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. The problem that Microsoft really came across with trying to impose this idea of the world going digital, and we must go digital now, it is the future now, we as console gamers just wasn't exposed to this. PC gamers are used to DRM at this point, they're used to digital distribution, they download games all the time, Steam does it right, Xbox 360, they didn't do it right. There's no incentive for us to go and download games. It's better just to go buy the disc at the store. We can share it. We can trade it in. We can do all these things at the store. When you have a game that's not coming out on release date on 360, and if I go on there right now, there's going to be games that are still $60, and they're five, six months old at times. Really just ridiculous that they're still $60 on the marketplace. They can't do that again. Otherwise... We will never go digital because we will refuse it. Why the fuck would we ever want that? Why would there's no incentive there? You have to give us incentive to want to go digital Microsoft. I should not have to pay sixty dollars. There is no shipping cost, there is no packaging cost, there's no disc cost, there's no gasoline cost, which I guess goes into shipping, but I don't know. Whatever. These expenses that a company would have to pay do not go into that digital version of the product. So I should right there at least save $10, maybe more. But let's just say $10. So you make a game that comes out the exact same day, brand new title, the exact same day for $50 on Xbox One Marketplace and on the PlayStation Network right away at a cheaper price 
people will buy it. And instead of force feeding us the digital path, which Microsoft was trying to do and what they failed miserably at attempting, people will gradually get into it. Over time, they have to have sales. If a game is a month old, it doesn't need to be $60. It needs to be like $40, $35. They need to have deals a couple months later maybe or whatever. A couple days later. I don't care. I know Walmart will give out deals at times for brand new games like a week or two after they come out. I remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one. I remember that was $30 when I went to Walmart once, and it just came out like a week or two before that, and I was like, I can't pass this up. There's no way. So I bought that game. So digitally, they have to do things like Steam. If they do, then people will actually gradually go there. Then you can start talking about all these different clouds and amazing things that the digital path can provide because people will be ready for it. Right now, as console gamers, we are not ready for the digital path. PC gamers are used to it. We are not. So we do not want digital distribution. We want to be able to own a physical copy of a game. That's an investment. That's the way I look at it. If I buy a game for 60 bucks, I want to be able to play this game for 10 years. Now, realistically, I'm not going to play the game for 10 years. Maybe I'll own the game for the entire 10 years, and then I'll go back to it. And I'll play it again after a long time of not playing it, and I'll enjoy it again. It is a possibility, but it still is an investment. So, in reality, people like to hold things. Credit cards, paper money, this is ridiculous, honestly. The concept of paper has value when it just because the government tells you that it has value. When you look at property, if you own property, that is how you build credit. If you own a house, if you own a car, that's property. That is where your credit will really come from. If you own gold, you can hold gold and you know that this has value to it. The paper at any moment, especially right now in the United States with our economy, can be totally worthless. It's like, hell, oh, the, the, the money's not worth anything anymore. Well, burn it because it's pointless. But if you had gold, property, things of value, that is worth it. So we Same. want to be able to make an investment and to have a physical copy of something and to say that this is our property. And not only that, we buy it we want to be able to resell it to do really whatever we want with it. If I want to break it, I can break it. If I want to trade it in, I can do that. If I want to sell it to my friend or sell it on eBay, Craigslist, whatever, I can do that. Like I said, the world is going digital. There's no question about that. But we, the gamer, will not be force-fed. We have proven that with Microsoft. And if they make wise business decisions, and that's also including Sony, if they make wise business decisions, we will go digital, but only when we allow it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and favor the video for me. It will help me out, and I would appreciate that. If you come across any interesting news that's gaming related, please send me the article. I would love to read it, and if I make a video about that, I will give you a big shout out. Also, be sure to tell me what you think about this matter by leaving a comment. But besides all that, please have a nice day, and peace out!